Well, it's Sunday the 11th of May. It's around about 6.30 in, uh, in the afternoon. And um, as you can see, I've had uh, the villa painted. So let's have a look. It's white on the right side. That's where uh, the 4x4 lives. And as you can see, the balcony is a very pale summer yellow. As I pan across, you can see the studio there and the 4x4. Let's just have a look and see. My trusty Nissan Torano takes me everywhere I need to go. You can see that the main, the main entrance I've had sort of yellow as well and the wood painted and that's the studio on the left so let's go through and have a look and see what it's like can you hear that cuckoo in the distance so that's that's the color of the main house now you can see the windowsill is yellow that's the main steps it's really grown on me now, it's a lovely summer colour and you can see the wood has been painted as well and the posts let's just see the roses coming out lovely and uh, there's the studio and the beautiful summer sunlight a lovely warm colour. I've just paint the um, under the guttering if you like the soffits which I'll probably do tomorrow with a lovely wood stain to match the bottom and that's where I keep all the wood and let's go and have a look uh, and see at the rest of the garden where I had I had this mode uh, ploughed and seeded about four weeks ago and it's coming up really lush really green which is lovely and we'll just pan around and have a look at what what I use as the main entrance There we go, we can just about see now. A lovely warm summer colour. Absolutely lovely. And as you can see, we sort of pan across there and there's the studio. That's uh, what they call the winter garden, but it's like a conservatory. We'll go in and have a look shortly. So I think that is a lovely, lovely colour. And I'm very, very pleased. Very strong, but a lovely summer, summery colour. You can see the grapes are starting to grow. They'll absolutely fill the trellis overhead and here as well. So let's explore the garden. And of course, the gorgeous Rudopi Mountains in the back. How beautiful is that?
more grapes on the right. These are very small grapes. These end up as currants when they grow. This is the top of the garden where we put a little compost heap there, all the trimmings. And uh, you'll see all the branches here piling over my borehole, which is a well underneath there. So it's good to cover them up, but going my neighbour sets fire to all this, has a big bonfire, and it falls into the well. Looking down the garden towards the house. It's so, it's so beautifully warm. It's been about 30 degrees today. And now the sun's setting, it's about 26. So it's just lovely to be in a t-shirt. And it's, uh, it's lovely to have such a big, big lawned garden. You can see there, down, down there, look, that's uh, on the left, behind the big doors, that's where I park the 4x4 at night. Nice and secure and safe. And there she is, all lovely terracotta. Trust me, this camera does not do the mountains, the Rodopi mountain range justice. Absolutely gorgeous. Just very quickly before I switch off, look at these grapes. They're just coming in. I've got three, four, four grape tree, uh, cherry trees, and these are absolutely delicious. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I think we'll find a home for that. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> very sweet, very lovely. Come on. <laughs> 